Welcome to a special show of highlights from the last series. 16 glorious weeks condensed into one hour. How on earth did we manage to spin it out for so long? But what an exciting series it's been. And you, my lovely audience, you've been revealing yourself again, you brazen, shameless sluts. You've just been so... What's the word? So tasteless. So revealing. So glamorous. Painful. Embarrassing. I, I made a, a dog come by accident. <laughs> Please tell me you just said, here, boy, a lot. I used to go out with a farmer who had a thing about having sex in his chicken shed. And, uh... <laughs> These words are wrong coming out of your mouth, Colin. <laughs> You're not supposed to be fucking in sheds. <laughs> I came and murdered and found my uh, stepfather in drag. <laughs> Lovely. And, and being being a horrible child, you went and told your mother, didn't you? Yes, you did! It was my dad that found my dildo on my bed. <laughs> that was careless, wasn't it? <laughs> we just left your dildo on the bed. Yeah, I went to school. <laughs> I can bring myself off uh, with my toes. <laughs> what do you do? Are you just very loose in the hip? So, or just so. very long in the cock? <laughs> what... <laughs> oh, my goodness! Are you very keen on the old Egyptian thing? Yes, I do like ancient history, which is why I decided to get it. Show it to a tutor <laughs> and it might help you pass an exam. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pube there. No, eh... <laughs> Bushes by the Nile. <laughs> eh... I can absorb a couple of litres of water with my bottom. <laughs> well, he's handy to have around the house, isn't he? <laughs> yes, I had a talking vibrator in my bag. I've never seen him or heard a talking vibrator. What, what does it say? Oh, my God, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I was getting ready for a date and I was quite nervous and I had the bath, washed the hair, done the makeup, done it, and decided to um, make my undercarriage a bit smoother. <laughs> that was beautifully puss. <laughs> um, by waxing it and uh, I didn't... Now, I didn't know, but I'm guessing all the women thought that was a really bad idea. Never wax just before you go on a date, all the women are thinking. You know that now. Oh, yeah. um, okay, so so you heat yeah. up, whatever. And you're meant to remove it at the right angle, and I didn't, and I was left with a full layer of glue. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting picked up in about quarter of an hour and had to find some way to remove the glue. <laughs> Nails and ended up using a razor and removed, uh, <laughs> removed a few layers of skin. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's amazing about this? You know that a producer from Casualty is watching now, thinking... <laughs> Genius! night and there was a time when Friday nights on television meant only one thing to me ah, the sound of saxophones and the New York skyline <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Sharon Glass <laughs> Jason Priestley <laughs> Singles up! 
To make. Police work is very serious business. <coughs> and you leave me with no alternative. I'm forced to place this entire assembly under arrest. <coughs> you for doing it and saying it, and you for listening and watching. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell you, I've never heard of a talking vibrator before. I've, I've learned something tonight. Why not? This is very informative, this show. You didn't, you didn't warn me about that. I didn't. And of course, now you're here. Cassandra's really sorry she told the old snack and snack story. <laughs> She's thinking he'll never want me now. <laughs> Was there permanent scarring? I forgot. Right. No, no, it's all right. Did, did you actually have to go to the, to the hospital and, uh, no? No, we're tough, we Brits. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Stiff upper lip and all that, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> Now, the thing is, when, when this... I'm series... getting nervous now. What? Just kidding. Oh, don't, no, because we've had this terrible thing happen, right? Everywhere, everywhere that Sha poor Sharon has gone, right, it, it started at Customs. Uh, you tell them, you tell them. Well, I came through Customs, and the lady was very nice and recognized me. She said, oh, Miss Gless, welcome back. Are you here to do another play? And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to be doing a talk show this week. She said, really, which one? And I said, Graham Norton. And she said, oh, you're very brave. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you ever do the kind of the full frontly thing? Um, no, I mean contractually they, they wouldn't let me. No? I wanted to. Yeah? Yeah, I've yeah, I, no. yeah, got no problem. I quite like the idea of getting me bits out of the that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's good because we have a picture of you with your bits. <laughs> 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 Sharon was worried. <laughs> yes, here is, here is Martin, just, well, getting it all out for us. There he is now. There he is. <laughs> Having a quiet piss in a park. <laughs> but have you actually walked away, or are you still kind of really, you know, are you still very interested in what's going on in Northern Ireland? I'm interested. I keep up to date, of course. But I've got a very demanding job now. I do drugs, I do GM. <laughs> Phenomenal. Not a piece of it. Not enough. You are brave. You are a brave, you brave, drugs. wonderful woman. You do drugs. I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations at this time. <laughs> The balls he didn't say it, and he hasn't got the balls to say it. Do you I, do drugs? Do you know I don't, but I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Safer sex pants. Very <laughs> but here we go. That's the. You pop them on, you go out to dinner. <laughs> Your date might just hear the rustling. <laughs> What's that odd sound? And a little, oh, a little bit of lube special in there. Oh, God, that's oh, horrible. <laughs> but you're probably thinking, Naomi, why can't I get a pair? You can. They do them for ladies. They do them for ladies. Oh, Look, big old femidomy thing there. <laughs> There's a note in my female condom. Hang on. You uh. Uh. Oh, I've covered an old goat. <laughs> oh, very interesting. For the woman. Because, <laughs> of course, your astrology career is huge. Correct. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, my favourite bit, my favourite bit in Star Power Come is on. this bit. Star Power... Rumpology. <laughs> well, that's very real. Mm. Also she... known, also known as Fanny Graham. <laughs> which I, I thought was something you sent to a stag night. <laughs> but apparently it means something else in America. Uh, now, tell me, well, Rumpology... What does it mean in England? <laughs> I mean, what well, are you sitting on? What do you call it? What I'm sitting on? Yeah. It's a chair. <laughs> uh, well, 
Oh, no, I had to say that. You had to say that. No, no. Uh, basically, a fanny in this country is a bottom. Oh. It's just not the back bottom. Well, what part is it? It's the front bottom. You have a front bottom? Ladies well, do. Well, we don't have a front bottom in there. <laughs> Behinds in the back. You can tell me yours is in the front. It can't happen. No, ladies have a. Ladies have a what? Ladies. <laughs> ladies have a what? Well, it does look that's the same. Funny. It's there. That's the well, fanny. Well, let's change it. <laughs> if you want us to call our arses fannies, we will. Fold it that way. Okay. Fold it that way. To get this right. I haven't done it that often. I'm spiralling through right. time and space now. Fold the, fold the end like that. Yes. Then you get the sides and you roll it in. <laughs> Sex facts, right? And it says, you know, how big animals, <laughs> animals' hearts are. So, like, an elephant is a six-foot penis. Six-foot penis, everybody. Uh, whereas, and this is sad, a chimpanzee just has three inches. Oh. <laughs> but how much crueler is it? A gorilla is only two. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're reading that. We're reading that down to the cat with an inch. Funny and, and informative, <laughs> yeah. people, remember? And then, over the other side, well-hung men of the 20th century, Charlie Chaplin, Gary Cooper, Jason Priestley. You're there! <laughs> The internet is full of lies. <laughs> no, don't, don't tell yourself short. <laughs> what is it with, you know, every time they interview, men like to talk about the anal area and the testicular area. <laughs> That's men. So let's just start straight away. <laughs> well, no, because you are, you are slightly, uh, not obsessed, but you do seem, I mean, did you do very well in your castration exams at vet school? Because you do seem to specialise in that area. Um... I enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm digging, digging, digging. <laughs> but I've been doing all kind of animals, you know. I think I'd been in uh, England a couple of weeks before then and I'd done gerbils and guinea pig, squirrel. I don't ask me why, I did a squirrel. Well, I was meant to. And um, then suddenly I was in Africa and I got my hands on some cal camel testicles. And actually, they saved them for me because I got a little collection. Um, <laughs> People eat them, I collect them. It's not bad, Graham. To hear you. Not. Join us here on Channel 4, literally talking <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> Dog's going to distract me now. He's very cute, but he's distracting. Oh, he's a So dog. I'll, I'll let him go walk. He's got, oh, can I see you? Oh, you will see him. Oh, he likes you. Oh, he likes you. Oh, he likes you. Oh, baby. Oh, he's the best dog. Okay, bye-bye, uh, bye, good dog, good dog, good dog, but this is quite funny to do that, because then, then he goes mad, he has no idea what's happening now. Can you scratch yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it might be that one! She has powers. <laughs> I am thinking that, what is the worst thing you've ever tasted, Jilly? There were two worst things. <laughs> Um, one was called Caribbean Love Juice. <laughs> As we suspected. <laughs> and I thought it was going to be bound to be absolutely tempting and gorgeous. And do you know what it tasted like? It tasted like sort of fish scales. <laughs> absolutely the most diabolical drink. And it was supposed to be a turn-on, but it was repulsive. But what, what, what was it? What was it was supposed to be like an aphrodisiac or something? Yes. Oh, but fish it was scales. Fish, yes. yes. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. <laughs> there is one, there is one um, Jamaica called Irish Moth. And what was that like? Fish scales? Well, it's white. Was this one white? It was, yes. Creamy it had the looking. look a bit like that, too. Yes, it was sort of <laughs> globby. Oh, it was well, globby. I tried it. And it's fishy Irish. and it's globby. It's going to be very good for men. Oh, is it? Yeah. Maybe I was just the wrong sex. <laughs> we could edit this into a very enjoyable chat. <laughs> Don't, no, no, but we don't. won't. We won't. We won't. I'll just say, what's the worst thing you've ever tasted? And then you, you'll tell us love juice. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, this is a lovely thing, right? This is a fleshlight. <laughs> And you, you can have this around the house, couldn't you? People, yeah, you know, sure. just see the flashlight and you think, oh, that's lovely, that's great, a nice that's little thing. Right, what you do is, when the moment arises, the man just unscrews the top. <laughs> you would be manly. You would, would wouldn't you? It's not made for me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you unscrew the top to reveal that in there. <laughs> and, Work it out. It looks like you're collecting for charity. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you did tell me a joke the other night. I'd love you to tell it again. The Estelle Getty joke. You want me to tell that joke? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't tell Estelle. <laughs> Why is walking a high wire like getting oral sex from Estelle Getty? I don't know. Whatever happens, don't look down. <laughs> Part two for some gems from the internet, including a big singing penis. Funny, I don't remember Gary Baller being on the show. 